Grant, what wallets do I need to start with to A, trade crypto, and B, maybe get on on some of the experiments you're running in the Discord for us to learn from? If we wanted to follow some of these experiments with crypto lending and a variety of things like that, then what are the basic wallets we need to start with and why? Let's cover it. Number one, I recommend, obviously, if you don't know this by now, you should. I recommend 100% that you start with Coinbase. Now, Coinbase is super easy. It was literally launched to simplify what was originally back in 2016 and 2017, a very complex process. You can buy and sell a lot of the mainstream cryptocurrencies right here. Uh, the great area for beginners in crypto are going to the learn and earn. If you actually learn about crypto, they reward you. If you learn about loop ring, they'll give you so much loop ring. If you learn about bounce, they'll give you that. These are easy ways to watch videos and get rewarded crypto tokens. I also really like Coinbase for this main reason. Some of you might've seen in the Discord that when I sell a position in Coinbase, I don't often sell to cash. I'll actually convert to DiCoin. And the main reason is that my DAI coin earns 2% APY. And when I convert to DAI coin instead of sell, they actually don't charge a convert fee of 1%. So I effectively get 3% back, if you will. I get DAI coin back. And you can see that on DAI coin alone, I've earned about $6 and that's just interest, but it's $6 in DAI coin. They also have a great return for passively staking Tezos, 4.63%. If I'm holding all of my Tezos and it is just sitting here in Tezos, and I like doing Tezos in Coinbase because it's pretty volatile. Right now it's at 627, I should buy more. And then when it peaks up to seven or eight, I'll sell uh, a chunk and I just keep accumulating Tezos on those swings. This makes it very easy to become familiar with cryptocurrency in general. And if you just lived in this ecosystem, it's great. I'd also pay attention with uh, newly added cryptocurrencies. Those newly added cryptocurrencies that they're adding all the time. If you go to trade and you search, you can also search by newly added. Those cryptocurrencies which are new to Coinbase. So that's the first one I'd start with. There's passive staking, which I really recommend and it makes it really easy to buy. And if you're really into simply dollar cost averaging, the safest cryptocurrency play you can make is to literally buy Bitcoin and Ethereum, maybe some Solana and USDC coin and buy them and then make them recurring buys. Put $25 a week or $25 every other week to make a recurring purchase from Bitcoin. Once you connect your bank account, it's super easy or you can convert. And then sending and receiving is super easy. If you don't have Coinbase and you're just now getting started in cryptocurrency, shame on you, get it going. Definitely fantastic. LCX, a fantastic one. My buddy is making good money on Origin Trail and Krill. All of these are really decent cryptos. Again, not financial advice, but it makes it super easy to buy into some of the mainstream ones. Now, one of you in the Discord asked, well, Grant, why do you have two separate wallets? And the short answer is the other wallet that I'm going to show you real quick often has a different set of listings. So for example, right now I'm going heavy into metaverse stocks as many people or cryptos as many people are. And a big one that I'm holding is Decentraland. Now, if you actually search Decentraland and it comes up, it's right here, I can buy it, right? But if you search, another one that I really love is Sand for Sandbox. Now it's listed here, but there's no buy button. It's literally just feeding you information. In fact, all of these are, it's just feeding you information, but it doesn't have a buy button. That means these are not tradable assets. That leads me to the second wallet I really spend a ton of time on, and that's KuCoin. I love KuCoin. KuCoin has a ton of interesting features. It is for the more advanced uh, trader. You have your assets listed here, and you've got several accounts. And moving money, deposit and withdrawal all happens in the main account. You cannot trade unless you move the money from the main account to the trading account. There's some security protocols they're doing for you there. And their markets are actually funny. It's not as visually stimulating as Coinbase. So the interface isn't the greatest, but these are all ones that I'm following. These are my three metaverse cryptos, but I don't get many charts. The, the charts aren't good here. 
Well, if we jump over to spot trading, and spot trading is where you don't you want to avoid at first margin trading. That's a super advanced kind of level. But you can see that, whoa, this is trading and it's trading pairs. So you kind of have to have a little bit of familiarity with trading pairs and how that works because we've got Bitcoin to US Tether. But what if I had Bitcoin to Ethereum and it's going to list a whole different trading pairs with Bitcoin. What about Ethereum? So I've got a bunch of Ethereum here. Now, can I buy Decentraland? Let's see if I can buy Decentraland here. I can. I can use my US Tether, my Bitcoin, and my Ethereum to trade with Decentraland. Now, I don't get caught up on trading pairs like arbitrage with currency trading. I don't get caught up into that. I'll just see if I have some US Tether and if I want more mana, I'll purchase it. So if you notice, I have to enter a security protocol. I have to enter a trading code before they'll let me buy, buy the central land or sell the central land. So the trading pair, don't get too hung up on this. The trading pair simply means that if I'm buying mana, I'm going to buy it with USDT. If I'm selling mana, I'm going to, they're going to sell it for USDT. We can get involved in that a little bit. I will say this does have some charting tools that I like. And if you click this one, this is one of my favorite charts, the stochastic RSI. And I can see if something is overbought or oversold. This is like a volume over the last 14 days. And we can talk a little bit about what this chart is. But I can see that this is starting to come down for Decentraland. This is, we, we rode this thing to the high. We purchased some Decentraland about here. We rode it to the high. We took a little bit of profits. It's coming down a little bit. We could talk about how these moving averages, what they're implying. And then what volume? It was a little overbought in this area and it's coming down a little bit. So I'll wait till it's hitting down in the low and then I'll acquire some more. We could talk about what some of those volumes are. But you can see that KuCoin is another wallet where I'm holding. And let's go back to the assets real quick. It's got some advanced trading tools, but you don't need it for any of that. If you're following our recommendations in the Patreon you can do a lot of that from Coinbase, and then sometimes you can pick up a few others. Let's see a few others that are not listed on Coinbase that I hold here. Sandbox and Block are the two big ones, and Lossless. I don't think Lossless. These are three that I saw. I liked the projects. I went ahead and purchased them here on KuCoin because they were not available. MetaHero. I had to buy MetaHero over here on KuCoin. It wasn't available anywhere else. That's another one that I'm really big on right now. I really dig MetaHero and what it's doing. I won't go into the rest of them, but why are why would I have some in Coinbase and KuCoin? What about the ones that can exist in both? Well, if you haven't picked up lately, go back and watch my videos on crypto lending. My crypto lending experiments happen on KuCoin right now with one caveat, which I'll share later. So as an example, I've got USDT. I've got an order out right now. They're borrowing uh, 690 USDT. This is the interest I have accrued already. It matures on the 24th. And it's going to continue accruing that interest. My US Tether is returning phenomenally 20%. I'm going to increase those holdings. I'm also experimenting with Ethereum. I've got Ethereum with an open order right now. Thank God, because I had it sitting here and it wasn't accruing any interest. You can see the annualized interest rates right there. But I finally had a contract there. So I moved some Tezos. I moved some Ripple all over here to experiment with crypto trading. And I'm going to do a crypto lending update video separately. But this is why I have KuCoin, so that I, I can actually experiment with some of these advanced crypto trades. It has a whole uh, section for brand new crypto. So I found MetaHero because it was listed, at least on the mobile app. They have a phenomenal mobile app. I, it was listed uh, with all the new, hey, we just launched this coin and I checked it out. I looked into it. I really liked it. They have a good, MetaHero has a good project with Sony. Again, not trading advice, but I really like the product. But they also have something that I'm going to experiment with next, and that is trading bots. There are some people making crazy amounts of money with tr uh, trading bots, and I'm going to experiment with that. So this is a phenomenal tool. I have Coinbase. If you're just like 101, if you want to get into lending, and all it is is putting the money in here, setting up auto lending, and walking away. I have a video on how we did it in less than 10 minutes, moving your cryptocurrency over here and getting the crypto lending up and running. And on the low end, I'm making 20%. We could cover that in another video, but this is why I have KuCoin. The third app you, I think you absolutely need to follow along 
is MetaMask. Now, MetaMask right now, this is a Google Chrome extension, and you can go to the website MetaMask, but there's not much there. In the end, you're going to have to get the app and, and create an account through the app and or a the Google Chrome extension. And when you create that account, uh, it'll actually create a Ethereum address right there, and then you can move money from your Coinbase to MetaMask. Why is that? Why do we have MetaMask? I don't hold a lot of crypto in MetaMask. I don't do a lot of trading in MetaMask. You can see I have a very low amount of Ethereum here. I also have a little bit of Avalanche over here, a little bit of AVAX because I converted it for this currency called Time, which this is the one that everyone's talking about where you can stake it for 60,000 APY a year. So that's an experiment we're running. How MetaMask works is you might have heard about a project that you love and it's not on Coinbase and it's not on KuCoin. Let's say you want to take this obscure alpaca token and you want this alpaca token. Stuff like pancake swap or sushi swap, these are exchanges that allow you to obtain super obscure cryptocurrencies. Well, you'll connect to the MetaMask wallet and it'll ask you to sign in. I'm going to use that account. That's my account. I'm going to click yes. I'm going to connect. It's going to do a sushi swap. Boom, there we go. And now I've got my MetaMask wallet is connected right here. And I can do swaps with obscure cryptocurrency. So again, if you're trolling the universe and you see a TikTok, it says, here's a totally obscure cryptocurrency, you're going to have to do it. And the one that I've been experimenting with is the Wonderland app. So the Wonderland app is a creepy, interesting example Let's go to switch to the Avalanche network. So it's basically talking to my MetaMask. It's only going to talk to this Avalanche network, which I added. It's going to repopulate and say, okay. So it, it notices right away that it, uh, how much time I already have. And I, you basically put the amount you want to put in and then you stake it. Now, here we go. Look at this. Look at what return rate is promising. That's insane. This is only enabled because I connected my MetaMask wallet and I've done some conversions. So the three that we have, just to review, Coinbase just gets you up and running. You can move money back and forth from your US, from your bank account, in my case, USAA. Let's say I want to purchase $25 of Shiba Inu for whatever reason. If I entered in, it's connected to my bank account. If I wanted to buy it, here we go. There's buy. We're buying Shiba Inu. If I wanted to buy it here, I could convert that from other crypto, but it's going to let me pay for my bank account. And get this, even though it takes three days, typically a day to three days to clear in the bank, the reason Coinbase is so great is it's going to honor that purchase at this rate right now. And so I could purchase this amount. It'll honor it. It'll, and you'll see my balance go up. What's my balance right now? You'd see this balance would go up to $326 instantly at the current rate. It would honor it. So it's basically floating you the cash while it's clearing with the bank. So you can not miss your window. And it does that right away. And then you can set up the regular purchases, the regular buy purchases over, over here. So again, if you're just dollar cost averaging, that's great. KuCoin allows you to do a few more advanced experiments and follow along with us as well as get cryptos that you couldn't normally pick up elsewhere like Sandbox, Blocktopia, MetaHero. And then MetaMask allows you to do some swaps. This is like level three. This allows you to do some swaps with obscure currencies that you wouldn't be able to get to before. There's one other one I'm going to share right now just to make a point. There's one I have called Voyager, and it's an app. It's mainly a cell phone app. There's not a desktop interface for this at all. But I found out that they have some passive staking. And if you hold their currency, which, v, which is called VGX, Voyager, you hold that, you get several percent a month of staking, just passive staking right away. The reason I did this is Marissa and I are experimenting with staking for even higher returns. So right now they say, for example, if you're holding Ethereum or Cardano, if you hold X amount of those, we'll give you 9% staking rewards. That's pretty big. That's much bigger than a savings account. So I get 9% rewards. But if you also hold the Voyager staking coins, if you hold so many of them, they'll give you another percent. So if I can just park my Ethereum or my, Car my Cardano over here, in this particular app, they're promising returns. Now, this is backed by Mavericks. It's backed by Mark Cuban. They just did a huge push on Bloomberg and some PR. So these guys are actually a pretty legit Voyager itself, you can see, is a public company. So this isn't some obscure crypto company. This is an established.
established company with a really good team. So this is an example of, you don't need this. This would be like, okay, Grant gave me the top three I need, Coinbase, KuCoin, and MetaMask. These would just be for experiments. The other experiment is this one called YoRoy. YoRoy is a Cardano-based wallet, and you can see I'm logged right in. I, and I have like a ton of my Cardano over here. You can see my Coinbase has lower balances if you were peaking before. But my YoRoy it has like a ton of my Cardano. Cardano is running just about $2.20 per. So you can do the math on what we've got there. And then I've got this money staked right here with a staking pool. And it's supposed to be earning about 5% a year. I'm running this experiment. So I've got a bunch of other wallets, but I only use them for single use. I'm, my goal is to use them fairly temporarily just to see if the rewards are worth it. You'll probably see me do a follow-up video with this experiment in the Patreon and the Discord very soon because I'm probably actually going to liquidate and rebalance my portfolio to get involved with some of the other more blue chips, more metaverse and throwing more money at some meme coins. So those are the three. That's what I'm doing. Hopefully that makes sense to you and hopefully it helps you get started right away. Again, start with Coinbase, move a little bit of money in there, start buying, they'll honor it right away. Once the bank accounts are verified, they'll honor it right away. Get a KuCoin account to follow along with some of our experiments. Go back to the YouTube channel so you can see some of my videos on the crypto lending. It's one of my most popular videos is how I earn 60%. And then I've got to do a follow-up because some of that is working out really well. Some of it's not working out really well. And then the third one is get a MetaMask wallet. Don't put a ton of money in it yet. Just open the account. And then maybe move 5 or $10 worth of Ethereum from one, to the, from one to the other. Or pick your cryptocurrency, move it over there, and just kind of see how it works. Have a MetaMask wallet. Get the browser extension. And that should get you started. Hopefully this is helpful. Remember, we're having these free conversations in the Discord all the time, answering your questions like this, getting you up and running. So you can kind of orient into the crypto universe. Or please consider becoming a patron. We have a few sp spots available right now. And that's when you actually get my buy alerts, get my sell alerts, get direct coaching, as well as small business coaching with all of the experiments, experimenting with basically time freedom and financial freedom. And why would we do that? to ignite lives of explosive significance, starting with your own. Have a great day.